In Kerry, football is a religion, and their success has always been built on a foundation of the old guard inspiring a new generation. Tommy Walsh is a player whose journey began with the legendary Kerry team of the 2000s, and now brings all that experience into an exciting new era for the kingdom. I think Gaelic football is huge to the people in Kerry. It affects their daily lives. It's something they talk about all the time. Um, and because there's such a huge tradition of it here, there is a certain expectation on the Kerry team to perform year on year. Growing up as a teenager, they had been very successful. And to, to walk into the dressing room with guys like the, the O'Shea's, Colin Cooper, Kieran Donaghy, Declan O'Sullivan, all those guys, you know, they were almost my heroes. The next thing I was sitting beside them in the dressing rooms. We had just kind of come off the back of that very successful Kerry team in the 70s and 80s, so we, that was still kind of going along when I was growing up, and I was lucky enough to know a lot of those fellas, like Owen Liston, my father was involved, Ogie Moore, and they all played a huge part in, in, in my development growing up as a footballer. The passing movements go on, a high ball from Sean Walsh, and it's over the bar. So what does it mean to put on the Kerry jersey? Do you know what? You could call it a pressure, but I think it's uh, it's tradition because there's no doubt about it. Uh, um, the minute you put on a Kerry jersey, it means something. And I think that's that's not a pressure. That's a kind of a lift and it makes you two inches taller when you're going out in the field. Well, Tommy was into a lot of sport. He maybe wasn't the most skillful when he started out as a juvenile, but he has developed good skills since. You know, he's practiced a lot. I was very proud and particularly in 2009, two of my sons were involved. Barry John was on the panel and Tommy was actually playing. That was some feeling to realise that two of your sons had uh, immolated you and won all Ireland medals. So how many All-Irelands are in the Walsh family? There's ten. There's um, my father, seven, I have two and I have a brother who's one. So I think the memories are probably more important than the medals, but it's nice to have a look at these the odd time too. Do you realise all the other counties? Poor Monaghan, they'd do anything <laughs> for one of these. You're trying to live up to it, I suppose, but try and not let it get to you too much. I was lucky enough to go to Australia to play professional sport. It was just an opportunity that I couldn't let go. I uh, picked up an astral injury in 2013. I tore the, the, the three hamstring tendons off the bone, so it was pretty significant. I think when you're away from home, it might be a bit tougher. I didn't have the, the support structures that I would have been used to. My family, my friends, that was probably the hardest time I, I, I had over there. There was a couple of factors in coming home, but I'd spoken to the Kerry management at the time. They were keen to have me back, so they just felt I was ready to come back. Tommy is a wonderful player, has had a fantastic league for us, and we're delighted that he's back in, 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 in vogue this year for Kerry. Tommy had played at the highest level before he ever went to Australia. Coming back to Kerry, we needed experience in that dressing room, and that's certainly what Tommy's giving us. When you get an experienced player, he can only lead the fellas, but they'll actually drive him on as well. They're looking forward and they're looking up to the likes of Tommy, and they aspire to be like him someday. I've been very impressed with the Kerry Minor setup and the way they've been developed there. There are guys coming into the senior team now, and they seem to be ready. They're coming in now 19, 20 years of age, and they're ready to put their hands up for positions almost immediately. They're used to success. They'd be very hungry for that at senior level too. In Kerry, I think you'd be naive to think that everyone wasn't looking at the All Ireland final, but I think the reason that Kerry have been successful over a long period of time is that they haven't looked too far ahead. You know, how the Kerry team does in the summer, it is really important to people here. It plays a big part in their lives, so after winning on Ireland to come back um, and to see your family and friends back in your hometown, that's what makes it all worthwhile. Well. Here in the kingdom, success begins at grassroots level. Every young player dreams of pulling on that green and gold and lining out with their heroes. Guided by the experience of past champions like Tommy Walsh, can this young Kerry team carry their winning mentality into the championship and have that one day?